picture yourself, pardon the pun, in a sleepy French estate tucked away in burgundy wine country, where a gentle breeze wafts through open windows and birdsong is on the air. Little do you know something remarkable is about to happen. In the tiny village of saint loup de varin in saône et loire a strange-looking contraption sits on a windowsill, ready to make history. We're somewhere in the mid-1820s. Joseph Nicephore Niepce, a restless inventor with the patience of a saint, is about to pull off something no one had managed before, capturing the world's first permanent photograph. Using a pewter plate coated in bitumen of Judea, essentially asphalt that reacts to light, Niepce was working on something revolutionary. The picture he took, view from the window at Le Gras, might look simple to us now, just some sunlit rooftops and trees, but it changed everything. Nepsi's method, which he called heliography, was anything but quick and easy. His technique meant waiting at least eight hours for a single image, hoping clouds wouldn't roll in or the light wouldn't change too much. Before getting it right, Niepce spent years testing out different approaches. He tried using engravings and lithographs, and through endless trial and error, he finally cracked the code of using light to make a lasting image. After Niepce passed away in 1833, his work lived on through his partnership with Louis Daguerre, who later developed the daguerreotype, a faster, more practical way to take photos. That original pewter plate with view from the window at Le Gras now sits in the Harry Ransom Centre down in Texas. But back in France, Niepce's legacy lives on in the place where it all started, the Domaine du Gras, now called the Maison Nice for Niepce. The museum is open during July and August and lets visitors step into the world of this brilliant inventor. His old house has been carefully restored to show what life was like when he was conducting his experiments and houses the oldest photography workshop and laboratory in the world. Once you're done, there's plenty to explore. Vineyards, villages, and some seriously good wine. These days, we snap photos without thinking twice about it. But every selfie, every sunset picture, and every family photo traces back to those long hours Niepce spent waiting by his window. For more stories about the inventions, places, and people that shaped France, visit francetoday.com. Which French innovator would you like to see us cover next? Let us know in the comments below.